Walking along the river Tiber in Rome, we come across an amazing sight. A team of angels lined up on both sides of the bridge between the city center and the Vatican. At the end stands a gigantic ruin of bricks and stones, and high atop appears the Archangel Michael with his outspread wings against the blue sky. The Bridge of Angels, or Ponte Sant'Angelo in Italian, is one of the finest surviving ancient bridges in Rome. It was built by Emperor Hadrian around 135 AD to link the left bank of the Tiber with the Castle Sant'Angelo, which was previously known as the Mausoleum of Hadrian. The bridge at the time was known as Alien Bridge or Bridge of Hadrian. At the end of the 6th century, a terrible plague fell upon the city of Rome, with thousands falling ill and the streets cluttered with the bodies of the dead. Pope Gregory the Great led a procession through the city, praying to God to spare those who still lived. Looking up to the old mausoleum of Emperor Hadrian, Pope Gregory had a vision of an angel, glowing brightly atop the ruins and waving a sword. As the Pope watched, the angel lowered his sword and returned it to its sheath. The meaning was clear, the plague was over. So from then on, under Pope Gregory I, both the castle and the bridge took on the same name, Sant'Angelo. What attracts me most here is the unique way of the cross, with beautiful sculptures of ten angels in movement, which are made of white marble, each one symbolizing a part of the passion and death of Jesus. It was Pope Clement IX who, in 1667, commissioned the creation of the sculptures along the bridge. This was one of Gian Lorenzo Bernini's most insightful ideas, to create a Via Crucis where the angels symbolically offer the instruments of Christ's Passion so that those who crossed over the bridge in route to St. Peter's Basilica could contemplate them and thus be encouraged to repent and prepare for the sacrament of confession. Bernini himself created only two of the angels, the angel with the superscription INRI and the angel with the crown of thorns. In 1669, just prior to his death, Pope Clement decided that Bernini's originals were too valuable to be placed outside and exposed to the elements, so they were replaced by copies. We can see Bernini's original sculptures in the church of Sant'Andrea delle Frate near Piazza di Spagna. Ultimately, Bernini's ideas were realized by other sculptors who worked with him closely. By 1670, all the sculptures were completed and placed on the bridge. Each angel stands on a base with a biblical verse inscribed in Latin. They are as follows. The Angel Carrying the Column by Antonio Raggi The column being carried by the angel is symbolic of the pillar which Christ was tied to while being whipped. The inscription on the base from Sirach, chapter 24, verse 4 is, My throne is upon a column. The Angel Carrying the Scourge by Lazzaro Morelli The angel holds the scourge, a flexible whip used by the Romans to torture Jesus while he was tied to the column. The inscription at the base from Psalm 37 verse 18 is, I am ready for the scourge. The Angel Carrying the Crown of Thorns by Paolo Naldini, representing the crown of thorns placed upon Christ's head before his crucifixion. The inscription from Psalm 31 verse 4 is, The thorn is fastened upon me.
The Angel Carrying the Sudarium by Cosimo Fancelli. The Sudarium, or Veronica's Veil, is a cloth stained with the blood and sweat of Christ because it was used to clean off his face while he was carrying the cross. The inscription from Psalm 84 verse 9 is, Look upon the face of your Christ. The Angel Carrying the Garment and Dice by Paolo Naldini The garment and dice represent the moment when Roman soldiers rolled dice to see who would win Christ's seamless robe. The description from Psalm 22, 18 is, For my clothing they cast lots. The Angel Carrying the Nails by Girolamo Lucenti. The nails held in the hands of this angel are symbolic of those used to nail Christ to the cross. The inscription on the base from Zechariah 12 verse 10 is, They will look upon me, the one whom they have pierced. The Angel Carrying the Cross by Ercole Ferrata the cross, of course, represents the cross upon which Christ was crucified. The inscription from Isaiah 9, verse 6 is, Dominion rests on his shoulders. The Angel Carrying the Superscription by Giulio Cartari The superscription carried by this angel consists of I-N-R-I, which stands for the Latin phrase, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. The sign nailed to the cross above Jesus' head. The inscription reads, Psalm 96, verse 10, God has reigned from the tree. The Angel Carrying the Sponge by Antonio Giorgetti. We are reminded of the Roman soldier who soaked a sponge in vinegar, put it on a stick, and offered it to the lips of Jesus when he was near death. The inscription from Psalm 69 verse 21 is, They gave me vinegar to drink. The Angel Carrying the Lance by Domenico Guidi the lance is symbolic of the spear used by Roman soldiers to pierce Jesus' side, confirming his death before taking him down from the cross. The inscription on the base from Song of Solomon, chapter 4, verse 9 is, You have ravished my heart. At the end of the bridge on the bank opposite the castle stand two statues, which were created more than a century before the angel statues. The first is of St. Paul, holding a broken sword and a book of scriptures, sculpted by Paolo Romano in 1464. The base is inscribed with the words, Here punishment for the prideful. On the opposite side is a piece created by Lorenzo Lotti, in 1534. It is of St. Peter holding the keys of heaven. Its base reads, Here is forgiveness to the humble. The sculptures allow us to make a journey along the Via Crucis as we admire and contemplate the symbolic instruments, the chronological and narrative moments in the Passion of Christ.